What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. First off, I want to say happy Resurrection Day. I pray everyone is happy and filled with the joy of Lord Jesus. And I also want to thank everyone that has been supporting me this far. You know, y'all could have left. Y'all could have stopped watching the videos and, you know, but you chose to stick around and I'm grateful for that. And speaking of that, Today, I want to talk about why the Heavenly Father chose you. See, recently I was just reading in the scriptures when Lord Jesus had many disciples. And there was this particular time when he was explaining to the people that he's the bread of life. And he was telling them why he's the bread of life, because people wanted to bring up Moses and Moses did get that bread from heaven and they ate and were filled but lord jesus said yeah they did get the bread from heaven but yet even though they ate they still died but if you eat of his bread you won't die and this message was told to whoever believed so what happened was many of his disciples became offended they couldn't accept this particular truth so the scriptures say they walked away from him and followed him no more, but 12 remain. And Lord Jesus said, I chose you 12. See, the reason why God chose you because you didn't reject the truth. Even when it was a hard truth to accept. You didn't reject it. And that's why God chose you. That's why he can do things for your life. That's why he can bless your life. And the scriptures say, when you believe in Lord Jesus, when you believe the truth of his gospel, you won't perish. You will live. You will receive eternal life. God promised to give the crown of life to those who endure temptation. See, sometimes as we follow Lord Jesus, it's going to be days on this journey that we want to give up. It's going to be days on this journey that we don't want to accept the truth. Especially when the Heavenly Father wants to edify you in the spirit. Because the path sometimes become challenging. So the devil will try to tempt us to take us off this path. He will try to give you an alternate route. When the Heavenly Father said, keep going through this stuff that you must go through. See, here's another thing that I want to speak to y'all about of why the Father chose you. Because now that you accepted the, the truth, God can now give your life purpose. See, when the 12 decided to stay because they didn't reject the truth. Guess what happened? Once Lord Jesus did what he did when he laid his life down for humanity and he was resurrected on the third day. When he went back to heaven, he gave his disciples power and he told his disciples to make disciples in every nation, spread the gospel. He gave their life purpose because all of them started somewhere before they met Lord Jesus. They felt lost. They felt like sinners. They felt like they was unworthy. They felt like their life didn't have any meaning or, or no purpose. But when they submitted themselves to Lord Jesus, when they surrendered their own life, when they let go of their own ambition to follow Lord Jesus, when they denied themselves, picked up their cross, and followed Lord Jesus. Guess what? God gave their life purpose because they didn't reject the truth. When you don't reject the truth, that's when God can do the miraculous in your life. See, the reason why you feel lost at times is because it's too much stuff that you want to do in this world. Let's be honest. See, when you speak the hard truth, People don't want to hear that. Let's keep it real. It's stuff that we want to participate in when it comes down to this world because we're watching all the success of others. 
But true success is when you accept the true gospel of Lord Jesus. That's true success. That's doing the work of God. Because Lord Jesus said to his disciples, he said, this is the work of God, that you believe on whom the Father have sent. And that's Christ. See, a lot of people will come to a point in their life that they start rejecting you. And the reason why they're going to reject you because you are now living in truth. So it contradicts their life when people have accepted a lie because people must rather hear a lie than the truth because the lie feels better. It feels better to them. That's how they justify their actions and live in a certain way that the Heavenly Father is not pleased with. But if you truly want to figure out what you're supposed to be doing in life, follow Lord Jesus to your purpose. He is going to give your life meaning. He is going to show you the way that leads to life and not destruction. See, the truth is a path that we should take that won't be easy all the time. Because once the fingers start pointing, People start looking around like, yeah, I know they ain't pointing at me. I know they ain't pointing at me. But what about when you look in the mirror and you point at yourself? And you start seeing the error of your ways. That's what the truth will reveal in your life. It'll start showing you the error of your ways. But when you submit and humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, guess what? God will start taking those ways away from you. He will start stripping you of those ways in order for you to become who he created you to be in Lord Jesus Christ. He laid his life down for our sins so we can come to a place of repentance. Then he was resurrected so we could be saved from the enemy so he could free us from the traps, the snares that the enemy has placed before us. And sometimes those traps come in the form of distractions. So God gave us someone that we could focus our minds on so we could be less distracted with the stuff of this world. And it said, when you keep your thoughts on him, he will keep you in perfect peace. He will establish your footsteps. He will lead you on a path of righteousness for God. So loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to save the world. God wants to save you. God wants to give your life purpose. God wants you to live a meaningful life. But we first must believe in Lord Jesus Christ. God chose you because you didn't reject the truth. Because you didn't reject the truth, that means you didn't reject the promises of God. You didn't reject the healing of God. You didn't reject the strength of God. You believe. So God can do more for your life. And the reason why I know this to be true without a shadow of a doubt. The reason why I know this is absolute. I bit my lip too just now. <laughs> but the reason why, all jokes aside, the reason why I know this to be absolute because I'm currently living in that truth. And God led my life to more meaning and he gave me purpose. That's the spread of the gospel. That's what Lord Jesus did with the disciples when they didn't reject it. The scriptures say Lord Jesus had many disciples, but they rejected everything that Lord Jesus stood for and walked with him no more. They unfollowed him. Ain't that what be going on in today's society? If they don't like what you talk about, they unfollow you. They unsubscribe. They deny you. They try to say certain things about you. And that's because the more you live in that truth, people that have accepted a lie don't recognize you no more. They reject you because you're not of this world. The world recognize their own. But if you continue to follow Lord Jesus, even when it's hard to accept certain things that's going on, but you know it's of God because there's truth to be found within the situation. 
God will bless your life. God wants to transform you. He wants you to be more Christ-like. He wants you to become a new creature in Christ. So that's what I wanted to talk to y'all about. And I pray everybody have a blessed day on this Resurrection Sunday. Because you didn't reject the truth, God is ready to do the miraculous in your life. Continue to follow Lord Jesus. I pray this word bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I love y'all.